BBC investigation into the trend of travelling to Turkey for extreme weight loss surgery has found that women who are not overweight are being accepted for treatment. The BBC has also learned that seven Britons have died after surgery there. You may find some of the images in Monica Plaha's report disturbing. Last year, Stacey travelled to Turkey for weight loss surgery that reduced the size of her stomach. As a mum to two young children and having had a heart attack, she wanted the operation to avoid health problems in later life. One of the main driving things was, you know, I did this before I became a drain on the NHS, before I had any major medical problems. But on her return to the UK, she suffered a massive blood clot. I'd been assured I was absolutely fine. I had a fit fly note. Two days later, I had turned over in bed and one of my wounds just burst open. It was, you know, the bed was full of pus and blood and horrible. Stacey regrets her choice of clinic, but not having the surgery. My advice would be, do your research massively. You know, don't just stop it. You know that the people's before and after photos, that was, that is, it's incredible to see and everybody wants a bit of that. That there is a bigger picture. Her doctor says she's not alone. We have seen a significant rise in patients going to Turkey for private bariatric procedures. And he's increasingly treating serious complications as a result. What we've seen is some patients have flown home and then straight up to our emergency hospital in Cramlington, not truly understanding what the surgery they've had done and the risks they've actually taken. Weight loss surgery abroad is marketed heavily on social media. In here, at 10 stone 6, and she was 17 stone 10. It gets mixed reviews. I don't see me getting better. I feel like yeah. I've ruined my life. But provides a shortcut to surgery, which people may wait many years for on the NHS. Our investigation has spoken to patients who've had serious complications from botched surgery carried out in Turkey. One even had her entire stomach removed. We've also found out that seven people have died in the last four years after travelling to Turkey for weight loss surgery. And we've learned that the number of surgeries on the NHS has fallen by a third in England since Covid. While investigating, we heard concerns that women who were not obese were being operated on in Turkey. We decided to ask 27 clinics if they would accept patients at normal BMI levels. Six clinics accepted women for surgery who weren't overweight at all. And some of those that didn't even encouraged women to gain weight to enable them to be accepted. A leading British doctor says this is reckless. I think to tell patients to put on weight so they can meet a particular weight threshold so they can then have weight loss surgery, I think that's just wrong. Interest in going to Turkey for weight loss surgery shows no sign of waning. The government says it takes obesity seriously and those travelling abroad need to consider the risks. Monica Plaha, BBC News.